What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to remove subjects in Adobe Photoshop. Now as you can see on my Photoshop document already I have a picture of a hole in the wall and I have two other examples loaded up in the Photoshop already. So on this next example I have a picture of my hand on my desk sitting next to one of my smallest pencils and then if you look up here in the corner I have part of my computer showing in this photo. So we'll be getting rid of the pencil and my computer in this photo and then in my last example I went to Target and by the entrance I took a picture of some of the light switches that they have on the wall by the entrance or whatever these things are so we'll be getting rid of one of these in this photo but for now let's go back to the hole in the wall and get rid of this hole so the first thing that we got to do when we're removing subjects in Photoshop is to select the subject so I'm going to go up here to my lasso tool here. You can also use one of your selection tools which are down here, but I prefer to use the lasso tool. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to zoom in here. And then I'm just going to draw around this hole. And this lasso tool makes a selection out of what we just drew. So I'm going to lift up off my trackpad and now it turns into a selection. So let's move this over here. And now that whatever it is you want to get rid of is selected, I'm going to go up here to edit. And then I'm going to go to content aware fill. And then Photoshop generates what looks to be a comparison view. So the left hand side will be your document along with what you have selected. In my case, it's this hole in the wall. And then on the right hand side is like your preview window. Now the reason it's a comparison view is because during this process you'll be given a sampling brush in which you're giving Photoshop a reference to what you want to fill that selected region. In this case it's this hole in the wall and that's what this window says once you use the content aware fill tool. It'll say use the sampling brush tool to add to the sampling area in order to fill the selected region. That's basically what I just said but uh, I paraphrase a little bit. So I'm going to hit OK on this window. And as you can see my cursor right here it turns into what looks to be a Photoshop brush and you'll be using this sampling brush to give Photoshop a reference to what you want to fill in this selection. That will then come up in the right hand window where it says preview. So what I'm going to do is use this sampling brush around my selection. I'm going to use my trackpad and just draw around that selection like so. And then I'm going to lift up off my cursor and as you can see in our preview window that hole is now gone. So I'm going to hit OK on this window in the bottom right corner and you can now see that the hole is completely gone but that selection is still there. So I'm going to hit command D to deselect and now there's no more hole. But if you look over here to where our layers is, you can see that Photoshop created a whole new layer out of the content aware fill tool. So if you want, you can quickly switch between the photo with the hole and the photo without the hole. But that's up to you. But if you do want to merge these two layers together, I'm going to hold the shift key and select both layers. And then you can use the keyboard shortcut command E to merge those layers together. So command E and there we go. So now the hole is gone from the photo completely. But if you want to undo that, you can hit command Z. But you know, that's up to you. But the point is there was a hole in this photo. Now it's gone. So let me switch to my next example so I can show you guys how to do it again. All right, so you can see in my next example that I have my hand sitting on my desk and it's sitting next to one of my smallest pencils ever, which I can't find anymore, and a small part of my computer showing. So what we'll be doing is getting rid of the pencil and this part of my computer. So let's follow our same steps. So my lasso tool is selected. I'm gonna draw around the pencil, make a selection around it. like so and then go up here to edit content aware fill and now we have our comparison view again so I'm going to use my sampling brush and I'm just going to draw around my selection but since this sampling brush is used to give a reference to Photoshop I want that selected region to be just my desk so I'm not going to use this sampling brush on my hand specifically so this area that I'm coming up upon I'm going to make sure I draw around my thumb here. 
And as you can see, everything I selected with my sampling brush, that's all a part of my desk. So I'm gonna lift up off my trackpad like so. And you can see in my preview window that the pencil is now gone. So now I'm gonna hit okay on this window. And now the pencil is gone, but that selection is still there. So I'm gonna hit command D to deselect. But like I showed you earlier, Photoshop makes a whole nother layer out of the Content Aware Fill Tool because as you can see, there's two layers over here. And if I toggle visibility on this one layer by clicking this eye icon here, we can see that the pencil is now back. So now I'm gonna make this layer visible again. And then if I want to combine these layers, I can hold the Shift key, select both layers, and then Command E to merge those. All right, but now we still have to get rid of my computer that's over here in the corner. So let's select it with my lasso tool. All right, go back up here to edit, content aware fill. And then just use a sampling brush around the selection. And now you can see in my preview window that the computer is gone. So I'm going to hit OK. Selection is still there. Command D to deselect. And then if you want, you can select both layers. Hold the Shift key to do that. And then Command E to merge them together. And there we go. So now the pencil and my computer are now gone from this photo. But now let me switch to the next example so I can show you guys one last time. Alright, and now we're dealing with the light switches that are at target. So let's get rid of this little small one over here. So, lasso tool is still being selected. Draw around it. Alright, go to edit. Content aware fill. And then use my sampling brush and draw around the selection. And you can see in our preview window that it's now completely gone. And if you look closely at this photo, you can see that there's somewhat of a gradient in this photo. Like over here in this region, you can see that it's sort of a light red or sort of like a pinkish color. And then right here close to the middle parts of this photo, you can see that it's kind of a pure red. So that's what's great about this content wear fill tool. It kind of detects the gradient and then applies it to that selection. So after that, I can hit OK. Command D to deselect. And then if you want, hold the shift key and select both layers. And Command E to merge them. But yeah, that's how you do it. That is how you remove subjects in Photoshop. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like